My name's Joe Swift, I'm a garden designer and television presenter, and I've designed the BBC and RHS Bee Garden for Chelsea this year. Bees are incredibly important because, well, without them, the planet wouldn't exist, really. Bees and other pollinators, they create the biodiversity that all other animals, including ourselves, rely on. Yeah, in my Chelsea garden, I've got loads of flowers, loads and loads of flowers and clashing colours. But there's loads of flowers, simple open flowers that a bee can easily access. So there's a lot of sort of closed double flowers that are highly bred. And it's very hard for a bee to get in there to access the nectar and the pollen. Um, so open plants, most of these plants have, you know, work. They're all sort of win-win plants. They look great, but they also encourage bees in. Anything from the scabious family as well. So I'm going to have some plants from the scabious family and we have some some iris in there, geums, I'm going to have things like verbena. It doesn't have to be native plants either. You know, I'm going to have plants from all over the world and bees are still going to be able to feed off them um, and other pollinators are going to come and, and yeah, get their fix. Yeah, I, I'm hoping there's some simple ideas that come across and it shows that it's very, very easy to create a garden for pollinators, really. Most of our gardens are beneficial to lots and lots of insects. I mean, even if you don't have a garden, you, you've probably got somewhere, maybe a windowsill or you've got somewhere outside, maybe a little balcony um, to grow some plants. But yeah, it's just having some flowering plants in the summer, some early flowering stuff, very early in spring, and maybe trying to think about continuing it through the year. Chelsea's a one off in May and it's got to look great for May but I'm going to try and get across the ideas that you know you can you can have something very early in flower from sort of February March and then try and keep it going through from September October a really good range throughout the year but also ideally somewhere for bees to overwinter as well so um, I'm going to make some bee houses that are hopefully going to look pretty pretty groovy on the garden um, but and just a little bit of shallow water maybe with some pebbles in it people put marbles in them so the really shallow water so a bee can actually sit and drink from it without they don't float on on a pond or anything so just some flowers a little bit of water and a little bit of habitat and they should turn up mm -hmm.